were it not for the physical evidence left behind, the Twiggy Witch would belong very firmly in the supernatural realm of fairies, elves, and goblins. But written accounts, dating from as far back as the 1700s, invariably describe a very real, though rarely seen, living creature. Sighted predominantly along the Welsh borders, and reported frequently well into the present century, the Twiggy Witch's appearance immediately explains the name by which it is commonly known. Witnesses describe a small bipedal animal made of what looked like grey, fragile-looking twigs. But although such a camouflage is hardly unique in nature, the Twiggy Witch has other, stranger characteristics. The hair on its acorn-shaped head resembles autumn leaves. The body is slight, perhaps no more than two feet high. Usually seen on the ground in hedgerows and undergrowth, it has almost never been reported in trees. Although it has been observed moving at great speed, the Twiggy Witch would seem to rely on its ability to quickly disappear into its immediate surroundings when threatened or disturbed. Twiggy witches appear in many folk tales from Hereford in the south and as far north as Oswestry. Reported sightings have tended not to deviate from this general supposed habitat. Encounters are more frequent during the autumn months, when it has been startled by witnesses' dogs or children on country walks. It could be supposed that the Twiggy Witch's metabolism is beginning to slow at this time of year, and the lack of reports during winter may suggest hibernation. With the spring, the creature's colour no longer invokes the golden hues of autumn, and is said to have hair that now resembles young spring green leaves. In their annual report of 1932, the Welsh Geographical Society included a submission by the Caernarvon Fossil Club. A member of the club had obtained for their collection a large sample of prehistoric tree ferns that had acquired the nickname Twiggy Witch because of an unmistakable likeness to a bark-like face. Whether the result of pareidolia or not, it is interesting indeed to entertain the possibility of the existence of perhaps an early ancestor of the later Twiggy Witches. In children's fiction there are many examples of creatures that could well be related to the Hereford Twiggy Witch. And in Europe, dozens of well-known folk tales include nature spirits or beings that are made of moss and branches. But these stories have a sense of fantasy and legend about them, while at least some British scientists take the possibility of a camouflaged, hibernating creature that is part animal and part plant very seriously. The hope is that the study of hybrid organisms like this, if they exist, will further man's understanding of the nature all around him. The nature that we are all part of.